Hi everybody, my name is Patra De Silva. I'm the founder of NH3 Natural Pet Products. And today we are going to show you how to make beef bone broth for your fur kiddos. This recipe is different from what you'd find at your grocery store. This one's specifically done for pets. So it has no onions or anything like that. So I'm super excited to show you this recipe. So bone broth is a super nutritious and delicious uh, food that you can feed your fur kiddo. It's got a ton of vitamins and amino acids in it. And it's good for pets that are having difficulty eating, and not feeling great, upset tummies, anything like that. The bone broth is fantastic for that. Now at NHV, we recommend using bone broth to uh, add to the supplements. So you can put your supplements into the bone broth and your pets will just lap it up without too much difficulty. Beef bones contain a lot of amino acids that have some great health benefits for your pet. It also helps hydrate your pet if they're dehydrated. It's good for digestion, good for immunity. So bone broth is something that's really popular right now um, and something that we recommend at NHV for the use of your pets. I'm going to start off by washing these bones. Beef bones are high in vitamin A, calcium, magnesium, vitamin K, and they also contain some really good uh, fatty acids which the body needs. To make the bone broth, you need a few ingredients. So you need four pounds of bones, a couple of carrots, some celery. So I use about two stalks of celery, a couple of sprigs of rosemary, a couple of sprigs of thyme, and optional is peppercorns and a bit of turmeric. You have to have apple cider vinegar, which is required in order to break the nutrients in the bones. Carrots are high in uh, beta carotene, uh, vitamin K, B6, high in fiber. Um, your, it's good for your pet's bodies. I like to peel my carrots, but this is not something you need to do. You can just use the whole thing. Carrots are such a good source of fiber too, right? So it's something you can feed your pets uh, even raw, or you can add it into their diet. And then we've got celery. This veggie is another veggie that we always have in our fridge. Again, it's very high in vitamins and minerals. Uh, it's got vitamin A, K, C, um, good source of antioxidants. So a super good uh, veggie to feed your pets as well. It also adds flavor to the, uh, to the broth and that's why I like putting these two veggies into the be uh, bone broth. Then we've got a few sprigs of thyme. Um, thyme helps support the immune system. It's super fragrant, so I like throwing it in. When the bone broth is cooking, it makes it fragrant as well. Rosemary, again, is a super good uh, herb. We use it in a lot of uh, supplements as well. Um, rosemary is an antioxidant and it helps reduce inflammation in the body. Now, we're not putting that much as a herb into the stock to make a huge difference, but it's, it's good stuff to feed your pets. Then we've got some parsley here. So just a few sprigs of parsley, I would say like a quarter bunch of parsley. Parsley is a highly nutritious herb as well. Just chop it up, you can use the stems, it's all good. So another great ingredient is ginger. Ginger is an ingredient that helps with digestion. It supports the immune system and it helps fight infections. I like adding it to the, to the bone broth because many a times when we're feeding our pets um, a bone broth, it's because they're not feeling all that great. And ginger has these anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidant properties, which will provide some added benefits to your pet. So we're gonna add a few peppercorns into the uh, beef bone broth. Now pepper, black peppercorns are full of antioxidants. It helps with inflammation. It's got free radical properties. So it provides some added benefits uh, into the bro uh, broth that you're making. Then our next optional ingredient is turmeric. Turmeric is one of the superfoods. It's absolutely something that we all should be taking because of all the known um, valuable properties that it provides. It's good for heart health, it's good for joint health. Um, recent studies are showing that it even helps fight cancer. So I'm using about a teaspoon of turmeric here. So a must have when you're making beef bone broth is some apple cider vinegar. It doesn't matter what the brand is or anything like that. And you're going to use a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. 
Now the reason for the apple cider vinegar is it helps break the uh, nutrients from the bones and it pulls all that marrow out. So the idea is to be able to break it down and you need this acidity that we find in apple cider vinegar to be able to do that. Now if you add a little bit more apple cider vinegar, it's not going to harm it. I kind of go about quarter cup is what I tend to use. So you're just going to use regular water and the trick here is to be able to have enough water to cover the bones and maybe come up about two inches above the bone uh, level like the ingredients that you've got in your pot so let's see what that works out to be so we've done a total of 12 cups of water so our bones are in there as you can see and then it's covered completely so it's all ready it's super quick once you start doing it and then you can cook this i'm going to cook this on the stove top today but you can cook it either in an instapot or on the stove top now the trick with bone broth is that you need to slow cook it for several hours and several hours meaning 12 if you're doing it on the stove i would say about 12 to 14 hours on the stove top and if you are doing it in an insta pot i would say about seven hours now what i do is if i'm doing it on the stove top i start off by um, putting this on high heat and getting the water to a boiling point then you throw a lid on it and you reduce your heat and you let it cook on a slow heat for your next 12 to 14 hours. Okay, so let's take a look at our bone broth. Now this is about uh, 12 to 13 hours since we put it on top of the stove to cook. And look at that, doesn't that look beautiful? Look, all the meat's fallen off and the marrow's all come out. So we're going to take the bones all out and we're gonna strain all of this. Um, and what I tend to do is um, I take off the fat because you don't need to give them the fat. You just want the bone broth there. Um, and then you can freeze this. You can put it into little ice cubes uh, and just let it set. And then that way you've got it ready to go whenever you need to feed your pet. Or if you've got a bigger pet, a bit of bigger fur kiddo um, that you are feeding bone broth more regularly or if you're using it to even rehydrate um, food like there are some pet foods that are dehydrated foods that you need to rehydrate bone broth would be a great uh, way of um, rehydrating it and providing a bit more added nutrients as well so i'm just going to pull out all the bones out of here now these are not bones that you want to give your pet because since they've been cooked so long they've become super soft and they will splinter so please do not feed the cooked bones to your pet you just want to feed them the nutritious bone broth that we have made for them i have one of these separators that helps you separate the fat when you make your beef broth and stocks but if you don't then all you have to do is just let this cool off strain it and let it uh, put it in your fridge and let it cool off and you'll get a fat layer that forms on there you just scoop the fat layer off and you're good to go. So now we're gonna use the, the separator that we put the bone broth into to get rid of the fat. And if you look at this, you can see this yellow layer, that's the fat. And that's not something our pets need. They just need the nutrition of the bone broth. And then we're just gently going to separate this. So with um, your 12 cups of water that you made your bone broth, you will probably end up with about eight to nine cups of finished bone broth so that's quite a lot even though it seems like it's going to take you a long time to make it it's just the cooking time but your end result is you've got quite a lot of liquid there um, that you can freeze up and use over time this is a good way of making sure they get their supplements so our pet experts at nh will always recommend using a bit of bone broth to get them to eat their supplements we're going to use multi essentials today which is a, a multivitamin that's made of all herbs that's highly nutritious it's got a ton of good uh, vitamins and minerals that your pet needs we're just going to add the dosage that we require you can give that a bit of a stir okay now we're going to give this to my little fur kiddo chaya look how excited she is oh chaya
So there we go. So Chaya enjoyed her bone broth. Now I gave her way more than she needed because we were demonstrating this. But um, as you can see, she lapped it all up without much of a fuss to do about it. So there you go. So that was a super simple, highly nutritious beef bone broth that you can make for your pets. Now at NHV, we have Dr. Amanda, who's our on staff head uh, veterinarian and she will be able to do customized meal plans for your pets so she'll come up with an absolutely fantastic uh, home cooked diet for your pet please visit us we are happy to help you out um, we're always there for your pets so thank you